Electrical components are in series if they are part of the same branch in a circuit. Another way of thinking of this is that every path around the circuit through one component must also pass through the other. It's very important that you can tell whether or not components are in series for your exams. Let's look at the lamps in these two circuits and determine which are in series. On the left, there are no branching paths around the circuit, meaning both these lamps are on the same branch. It also means there is only one loop around the circuit, and so you can't travel round it without passing through both lamps. This means both lamps must be in series. Then on the right, we have a branching path in the circuit. There are two lamps on the bottom branch and one lamp in the middle. This also means we can either travel around the circuit on the middle branch or the outer branch. In other words, there are two loops. Then since the two lamps at the bottom are on the same branch and loop, we either travel through both of them or neither in a path around the circuit. So they are in series. But they won't be in series with this third lamp, as this is on a separate branch of the circuit and no path includes all three lamps together. So why is it important to understand when components are in series? Well, it's because the same charge carriers will flow through circuit components that are connected in series. Remember that current flows in circuits because delocalized electrons in the metal wires move around it. Let's take a look at a circuit similar to the one with three bulbs and consider the charge carriers in it. Before the circuit branches, we'll have a lot of charge carriers approaching this junction. Then these electrons split up so that some travel along the middle path and some travel along the bottom path. So we'll have different charge carriers passing through the lamps. But since these two lamps are in series, then we see that any charge carriers that pass through this lamp have to pass through this one as well. So we have the same charge carriers passing through both. This isn't something you need to know about in detail, but it's useful for understanding the relation between the currents and potential differences of these series components, which we'll be learning more about elsewhere. But what's a problem that arises when we connect components in series? Well, if a component breaks, then a current will stop flowing through all components in series with it. Remember, there has to be a complete loop in a circuit in order for a current to flow. So let's consider this circuit. And what would happen if this lamp breaks so that a current can't flow through it? Well, it would mean the loop around the circuit is now broken. A current can't flow since all charge carriers would stop at the broken lamp, meaning the other lamp also wouldn't light up. This was a common problem with old Christmas lights, where all the lights were connected in series. So if one bulb broke, all the lights would stop working, and you couldn't tell which bulbs were working and which weren't. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.